Hi, my name is Fabiola Perez. I'm currently the director for Los Mexicas. Um, and the year before that, I was the costume director. I have been dancing for like, yeah, 14 years. Um, I started, it was like 2003, like probably like towards the end of 2003. Um, and I was like five years old. So long ago. Um, I started with my sister and mainly because my mom forced us, but <laughs> we stuck it out and we've been dancing ever since. Those were when we did the pastorela. So we were supposed to be like little angels doing Veracruz and then on this one we were like fairies because I don't remember what part of the story that was but it was part of our pastorela and it was like then my little brother was baby Jesus and so that was like how he like mm. got into it too but yeah so I want to say that was like my third year in the group is there a date on that okay or ish oh no but yeah yeah like my third year was our quinceañera for the group so they had, like, that's why my sister's in her, like, um, white dress. So they had, like, all the girls, like, I didn't do it, but it was, um, majority of the girls, like, in a white dress and, um, coming in, like, from the audience. And then they had, like, the Tiempo de Vals freaking song playing. She took almost the exact same picture, Sin Querer. And, it, I, like, I was in my Azteca outfit for the other one but I couldn't find it but <laughs> but literally I was like squatted down putting on my shoes and I was like I want to like make another one after that you know so it's like as the years went by mm -hmm. spring hits so like you go to Lens Santes like if you're able to go like you really get to meet people and you get to know them better and then once you go into spring like your regions for spring show like you just get really close with the groups that you're in and if you're in more than one you meet more people and then like Main stage week, like we're just all cramming, we're getting our homework together, like doing our homework together, practicing. You just get really close to everybody and that's when like you really feel like that like family connection in Mexicas and like like it literally is just like spring when it like all comes together. Like you get mm -hmm. to know people in like fall court and like you like maybe there's like little people like y'all are hella close, but then like yeah, spring it's like everybody and you know, um but yeah, I think it's like really special because like we're showcasing everything that we've learned and like we've had like Mexicas be the ones who are teaching us and like Jen and all that. And like we had Malena, she's in the lab. So it's just like putting together everything that we've learned throughout the year and just to be able to show off like everything that we've done. One of the main like problems I've had is figuring out what exactly to do with everything just because mm -hmm. there's so much it's hard to keep track of everything i have stuff up here and i have a bunch of stuff under my bed still and um it's just a matter of figuring out where exactly to put everything because not all of it fits on the racks and um really like once one thing is touched then the room just kind of goes through hell and gets like messy again within mm -hmm. like five days so it's like constant like cleaning organizing and then i've literally had to move the whole layout of my room just to make space for this so okay behind my shit there's hats and then there's like two boxes oh, in the shit. back that are full of like dresses and like here's our mexica banner my soap box um but yeah like there's the two big ass boxes and then there's like hats on that corner um the rack stuff and like there's like all the braids in there and then I think oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Chiapas is what I have. No, Chiapas is up there. But oh Aguas Calientes dresses are in here. And then like one of those boxes has all like our plates and oh, there's some hats in there. Utensils. Yeah. Hella pants. Hella brands. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then yeah, there's just hats and stuff. It's a lot. Me, I guess I'm used to sleeping on the floor but like let's say I have like usually when I'm like going through stuff not exactly like this 
like when I'm going through like a whole thing, I'll toss them here to like count them. Or sometimes the dresses will be like as big as that, like Veracruz. So like usually I'll like, the stuff will be on my bed and I won't have enough time to like move them because I don't want to move, like lose anything. Mm -hmm. So I'll kind of just throw my pillows down there and just kind of knock out on the floor. I don't know if it like tilts. Like if those tilt, when Jesse cha like puts them back up, se van a caer. Mm -hmm. so. It is. It's very, very much a hazard. Ow. We run for court because we want to be a part of Mexica so much more than we were just as a member. Because even though every single person who is in Mexica is equally as important, we want to step out of our shell to be able to lead the class in a totally different way than we would have if we were just teaching a small performance on the side. Like we're doing so much more behind the scenes to make sure that this group continues to strive. And even though there's some years where there's like smaller amount of members, more members, we want to make sure that it keeps going after 46 years and it doesn't just end at 47. Right. Any last words? I just love <laughs> I don't know what else.